Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and in this video, we're going to learn about making a border radius to make curved borders in CSS. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to go to our style, and let's go all the way down, and we'll comment that we're going to do border radius under here. Okay, and close the comment. Okay, so let's call this class uh, container 400 border radius 10, and we'll make the border gray. Okay, so we're going to start with our border property. We're going to give a width for our border. Let's do three pixels. Let's do um, a solid border and color gray. Now we'll do border dash radius. Now you can do it this in pixels or percent. We're going to do 10 pixels in this one. Okay, let's center it. So we'll get the margin of auto uh, and a max width. Let's see, what do we say? 500, 400 pixels? 400 pixels. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our index. And we're going to do a paragraph and with a container. Uh, what do we call that? We called it container 400. Okay. Container 400 border radius 10 gray. And let's do 100 words. Okay. Let's hit control S and save. And let's see what we get. Okay. So you'll notice here we've got those curved borders. Now we could add padding to kind of get the text away from this a little bit. We have curved borders. Okay, let's try a percent. So let's do container uh, 400 border radius 10 percent. I'm just naming the stuff that I can kind of remember. I might make this a lot easier. Um, because I'm not going to do a ton of classes in the website, but uh, I might just make, you know, some of my container, containers have a border with a, a radius, okay? So we're going to do 10% this time. So again, we're going to do a border. Let's do three pixels, solid, gray. This time we'll do the border radius of 10%. It's 10%. 10%. 10%. Uh, margin, auto, max width, let's do 380 pixels and then give some padding of 10 pixels on each side. So it's, it'll stay 400, but it'll uh, give a little padding there. Okay, so now we wanna do, let's, to illustrate this, let's do a paragraph with a class of container, 400 border radius 10% gray. And let's do another 100 words. Okay, hit Control S to save. And let's go back and we'll refresh. And we'll see now the border radius has a radius of 10%. Okay, let's illustrate what something like 50% look like. Okay, so let's do, we'll call this container circle 400 gray. Okay, so we're gonna have a border. We'll keep it three pix pixels solid gray. Uh, border radius, uh, 50%. Margin auto to center it. Um, do a max width of uh, 380 pixels again and a padding of 10 pixels. Okay, and we're going to do that one. So let's do a paragraph with a container. Uh, what do we call it? Container circle 400 gray. 400 gray. Hit tab. We'll do 50 words this time. Okay. Hit control S to save it. And let's refresh. Okay. Now you see it. It's starting to resemble a circle somewhat. Um, we take the padding away. Let's take the padding away. 
and just make it 400. Okay, and refresh. Yeah, we got kind of a circle. Um, not quite. Let's let's increase this. Let's see if we can get a full circle. So let's do 60%. And um, eh, not quite there yet. And okay, so we're getting kind of like a circle there. Um, you know, so that that is your, and actually, what we could do to get more of a circle is add a little bit more text. Um, let's do forum twenty five hit tab so get some more words in there. Okay, so you know, it depends on the height too um, with this thing, but and actually, we could we could limit the height, so. You could say the height is 400 pixels, and we'll just do that. And now it's going to be uh, pretty much a circle. Let's go back to 50%. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good circle we've got going on there. Um, maybe instead of text inside, just delete the text. Okay. And we're going to give it a background color. Uh, I wonder if it'll let me do beige. <laughs> yeah. Means, ooh, okay. Well, so that's nice. We can put a circle on our website. That's kind of cool. Um, anyways, so that's the border radius property. Fool with it. Uh, enjoy it. It's interesting and fun. You can make circles on your website if you want. Um, and that's cool for a math website like something I do. So have fun with that. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave comments in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you're interested in more web design and development tips, please check out my website, webdevinstruction.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.